Hello developers, welcome back to another exciting video on Laravel 11. I am Umesh Rana and you are watching Programming Fields. Have you ever noticed your Laravel queries running slower than expected? Well, today we are diving into database performance optimization using indexing. In this video, we will explore what indexing is, why it is important and how it can drastically improve database query speed. We will also do a hands-on implementation in Laravel 11 and compare query performance before and after indexing. So if you want to make your Laravel application faster and more efficient, stay tuned till the end of this video. Now without further delay, let's quickly jump on to what we are going to cover in this video. So here is the outline for today's video. Firstly, we will understand what indexing is and why it is important. Then we will explore its benefits and also we will see when not to use indexing. After that, we will jump into coding where I'll show you how to implement indexing in Laravel. Finally, we will compare query performance before and after indexing and we will wrap up with key takeaways. So let's start with what is indexing. So in simple words, you can think of an index as the index page of a book. If you are searching for a topic in a book without an index, you would have to go through every page. But with an index, you can quickly jump to the relevant page. The same happens in a database. Without an index, the database scans every row for that particular record. And this slow down the database queries. But with an index, the database quickly locates the required data and that makes query much faster. So the indexing is a way to fetch the database data for the faster searches. Now we will talk about the benefits of index. Indexing brings several benefits. First, it speed up the queries, especially when working with large database. Without an index, searching for a user by email means checking every row. But with an index, it jumps directly to the result. And indexing also makes sorting and filtering much more efficient. It is particularly useful for optimizing large data sets and improving performance when joining multiple tables. Here is the quick comparison of before indexing and after indexing. So this is basically query execution time. After applying the indexing, this will make faster response time. Now we will talk about when not to use indexing. Indexing is a powerful, but it is not always the best choice. So it depends on several factors. Like if your table is small, indexing won't provide much benefits. For frequently updated tables, just like if you are updating data frequently on that table, every update will rebuild the index and this can slow things down. And also, if you have too many indexes, that can increase storage usage and can make inserts and updates slower. So while implementing the indexing, you have to make sure one thing that your table is not frequently updating with the database queries like insert and update. And you should have large data set. So on that, you can apply indexing to fetch and filter the data. Now let's quickly jump into Laravel application and we will see how we can apply indexing into our Laravel application. Here I have opened my Laravel 11 application. Inside this, I have a users table. So for that, we have the migration. This is our default migration. Now respective to this users table, we have one seeder as database seeder. Inside this, we have the factory added. This is for saving the dummy data. So using this factory and seeder, I have inserted almost 6 lakhs records in the users table. If I'll come to the database.sqlite, here we have the users table and I have sorted this in the descending order. We have 5 lakhs 96,000 something records. This is somehow around 6 lakhs record. Now I will be applying indexing on this table to fetch the records. So for this, I have created one controller. We have the index function inside this. And here I'm just querying the user model to fetch the data. And those data have been returned to the users view. So I have created a blade. And in that blade, I have just passed the users record. So if I'll come to the users blade, here we have one tabular layout. Inside this, I have displayed a couple of fields and here I have just rendered out those all columns. And here I have used Laravel pagination using Bootstrap 5. 
and in order to execute this function i have created a route inside web.php and we have endpoint as users if i'll copy this i'll come to the browser and simply i'll navigate to that route here we got the users list if i'll scroll down here we have total 100 paginated records and this is our total records here this is around 6 lakhs and in our laravel application i have just installed laravel debug bar just to check the query and execution time so here this provided this interface at the bottom if i'll expand it i will zoom it first so in order to render the 100 records this took something 290 microsecond okay and this is forming the query as select a string from users limit 100 and this is offset 0 now among these all records if i just want to fetch a single record so simply i'll just navigate to the last page record and from here i'll just pick this name i'll come to the code inside the controller i will just add one where condition where and here we have the field as name inside this i will just add that value i'll come to the browser now i will refresh now if we'll check the query this took 57 millisecond right because we have total 6 lakhs records something and among those all records this has fetched this user based on the given name so for searching a single record among those all rows this took something 57 millisecond right now let's try to optimize this query first now here if we'll check out the query this is forming select a string from users and this is fetching all the columns from the users table based on the given condition so instead of fetching all the records from the users table i will just fetch the selected records which are going to be displayed here in this table so in the table we need only id name email and the date right so instead of fetching all records i'll just pass the columns so after this where condition i will be using select function inside this select function i will pass the column name that we want to fetch so i just want to fetch the multiple columns and for this i will just create one array of column name just like this and here based on the columns that we are displaying to the table i will just pass those column name so i will pass id name email and created it and these all columns are added into the users table so based on those columns i just want to fetch those columns only now i will come to the browser now before refreshing if you will notice here previously this took 57 millisecond now if i will refresh here this took 58 millisecond something but still this execution time and performance is not up to the mark so what i will do i will implement the indexing so we will have to create the index for the users table so i'll come to the terminal and here i will create one migration just to create index for the users table so i will create migration as make migration add indexes in users table and i will pass the table name as users i will hit enter yes the migration has been created now let's check out to that migration okay so inside the users table migration we will create the index based on the existing columns so if i'll show you the existing migration of the users table we have the field like name email and password okay so based on these columns we can create the index so by default in any table we have the field like id if you will check your database if you will try to find the default indexes from the users table then we will be able to understand that properly so this is our database.sqlite here i'll just open this in the command line cell now in order to check the indexes i will be using pragma this is sqlite syntax 
and I will use index list inside this we will have to pass the table name so I will pass users let's hit enter and this is showing by default users email unique because in the migration if I'll come to the migration here we have the email field added as unique right so by default when you add any unique constraint that will be added as an index but for searching the users record based on the name I just want to create one more index for this name field that's why we have created the migration so inside the add index table here we will define dollar table index function so laravel provides index function in order to create the index inside this we have to pass those columns for which we want to create index so we already have the index created for the email so i will skip this column and here i will just create for the name as of now if you want to create indexes on more columns then you can just pass the column name in the form of array just like this here we can pass the another field name okay so as of now i will just keep it for name only and also in the down section means while dropping the column we will have to remove the index so i will write dollar table drop index inside this i will pass this list of columns just like this okay this is done now let's execute this migration i will come to the terminal again i will type php artisan migrate and this is executed so the index has been added to the users table now let's verify the index i will open the terminal again and here again i will re-execute this command pragma index list and we have passed the users table now if we we'll hit enter here we can see we have another index added as users name index okay so the index has been created to the name column now we will come to the user controller this is fine here we don't have to do anything because we already applied searching based on the name column and we have created index for the same column as name so you have to make sure one thing you have to filter the records based on the same column here for which you have created the index then it will apply the indexing properly and it will fetch the records very fastly let's come to the browser previously we have the 58 milliseconds now after refreshing here we can see this take 80 microseconds again if i will refresh this took 60 microseconds so this is how indexing drastically changed this query optimization now if you'll try to revert the indexing so i'll come to the terminal and i will simply roll back this migration the indexes has been removed if we'll come to the database and if we'll check it again here we have only one index as users email unique now if we'll refresh this application again to see the execution time of this query again this came to the 59 millisecond right again if we'll re-execute the migration for this indexing after executing the migration if we'll check the index the index has been created here now if we'll check the application if we'll refresh yeah the query execution time is 30 microsecond this is very fast now so this is the magic of indexing in the database now you have seen how indexing can supercharge your laravel queries before you go let's quickly recap what we have covered so indexes speed up searches and sorting without an index queries are slow due to full table scans but with an index queries become much faster because it has to search only that particular record so it directly jumps to that record and it directly fetch out from the database so that's it for this video if you found this helpful hit that like button and subscribe for more laravel tips and tutorials also you can comment below what laravel topic should i cover next so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video until then happy coding